whether you can get reinfected with coronavirus really hinges on whether you have long-term immunity and whether after you've recovered, your body is still going to recognise the virus when it encounters it again. The coronavirus is a respiratory infection. It enters our body through the throat and we breathe it in. Um, and then it, from there, it'll start attacking cells um, in the upper respiratory system. And as soon as that happens, our body's immune system will be alerted to the fact we've been infected with a virus and it will send inflammatory cells that are designed to attack the virus and fight it off. But then it needs to build up a whole army of these cells that can specifically spot the coronavirus. And because this is a new infection for us, it's something our body hasn't seen before, it takes a while for the body to build up a, a big enough supply of these to fight off the virus. There have been some anecdotal reports of people who appear to have been reinfected. So these are people that have had symptoms, tested positive, and then tested negative, and then subsequently had another positive test. But I think at this stage, we shouldn't give those reports too much weight because these infections, these tests have all happened quite close together in time. And it's very possible that the middle test was a false negative. Perhaps not enough of the sample was taken or sometimes false negatives do occur in the lab. If you're doing lots of tests, there's always a, an error rate. Um, so I think the jury's really out at the moment on whether um, there is going to be long-term immunity. This whole question of whether you can get reinfected with coronavirus really hinges on whether you have long-term immunity and whether after you've recovered, your body is still going to recognise the virus when it encounters it again. So for some diseases, chickenpox, for example, your immune system keeps a memory of that illness. And whenever you're exposed to it again, your immune system will be ready to jump into action and fight it off and you won't get infected, you won't have the symptoms again. But there are other conditions where that doesn't happen or where you, you're immune for a certain period of time after infection and then that immunity wanes over time. And we don't know yet what's going to happen with COVID-19. We do know that with some of the coronaviruses, that are already circulating within the human population, things that cause just seasonal coughs and colds. With those, you are immune for a certain period afterwards, but then by the following year, you might be able to be infected again. The symptoms that people are getting with this coronavirus are generally more serious than with the other milder coronaviruses. Um, so it's possible that that will translate into a longer lasting immunity. That's what people are hoping will happen, um, but it's not something that's certain yet, and it's something that scientists are trying to find out at the moment. It's possible that people who have the more severe version of COVID-19 and suffer most serious symptoms will have a stronger immune memory of the illness. And that's something that seems to have been seen with SARS. So when scientists followed up people who'd been infected with SARS over years after the, after the outbreak, they found that those who'd had the more serious symptoms seemed to have a bigger reserve of immune cells that were designed to fight off the SARS virus. Um, so that's another thing that people are looking at, whether everyone's going to have the same kind of long-lasting immunity or whether some people might and be better at recognising the virus if they encounter it again in the future. There's also a question about how the virus itself is changing over time. So with flu, for example, that mutates very rapidly. Its genome shuffles around over, over the course of the year. And by the time the flu comes around the next year, it'll have changed enough that your immune system won't recognise it even if you've been infected before and that's why you don't get long-term immunity to flu and it's also why you have to get vaccinated every year because we don't have a universal vaccine that works for all flus. What we're seeing with COVID-19 is that it appears to be fairly stable genetically. It doesn't appear to be mutating rapidly like flu does and so that's good news in terms of 
immunity. It should mean that if our immune system builds up a reserve of these memory immune cells, they should be able to recognize the virus again if you see it again in the future. The question of whether people will have long lasting immunity against COVID-19 is such a crucial one for figuring out how we're going to exit this crisis and be able to remove some of the restrictions that we're all currently living under. Um, and there's a lot of reason to be hopeful for a lot of diseases. Once you've had it once, you are immune. And there's reason to think that the same thing will be true at least for months or possibly years with COVID-19. But until we've got bigger data sets, until we've been able to monitor people over longer periods of time, we just won't be certain of that.